All right, party on. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Joel Solo TV. Today's a big day. We got the Zeno 2. No longer is it smoky outside. I'm going to unpack it. We're going to do a quick comparison with the Zeno 2 to the Zeno Pro. And then we're going to get it up in the air today. So let's open it up and take a look. Oh, okay. So right away, I wanted to order the one with the bag and the extra blades with the extra battery. It was out of stock. This is the only one that they had for sale on the HubsonUS.com website. Here's the manual. We got uh, some spare parts. Spare parts here. A couple of neat little boxes. That's cool. Spare parts is where your blades and your extra cables are going to be. Uh, if you got the uh, iPhone or if you have uh, Samsung, you can hook it up no problem. It's got the USB for uh, updating the firmware. It also has this other ribbon cable. I'm not really sure what that's for or why I need it, but I hope it doesn't mean that that breaks a lot. But they gave you an extra one. So, yeah, spare parts, cardboard box. That's all right. It's cool. Onto the remote. Here's the remote right here. Check it out, it's got this LCD uh, display with a plastic cover on it. Yeah, that's nice. I'll leave it on there for now. I like the, uh, the uh, I guess it would be the antennas here. They fold in nicely. It doesn't look like they, yeah, they kind of clip together. Uh, the, the controller knobs are tucked away in here, which I really like, and I think these ones are made, if I can get it out of there. Yeah, these ones feel like they're made out of metal, which is cool. I like that. It feels light. The controller feels light to me, but maybe that's just because the phone isn't in it. But yeah, there's the controller. You put the little knobs in there. You can even run the cable down the side here, I see, which is very cool. I like that because on the other uh, Zeno Pro, the cable just kind of hangs out the side. Yeah, I don't like this, how this comes. Be nicer if this stuck together a little better. I'll show you the controller on the Zeno Pro. It's it's uh, it's not as uh, not as pretty as this one. I tell you what, wash your hands, otherwise you're gonna have black finger marks all over it. That's okay though, whatever. Uh, so on to the quadcopter. I got in here once already. I put my my sticker, my divided uh, equal zero sticker. That's cool. Uh, so here it is, man. Awesome. Awesome. The Zeno 2. Open her on up. I already charged up the battery and everything so we can get right on out of there. Here's the battery. Uh, you can check. It's a smart battery. You can check to see if it's charged. It's charged up, ready to go. Uh, it took me a minute to get it started. I wanted to see if it actually worked. Um, you press once quickly, hold down the button one time, it'll start up. I sat there for a you know, good half hour just pressing it, thinking something was wrong. But anyway, yeah, it started up and uh, haven't taken it for a flight yet, though. I want to get it out there. This is the cover for that camera I was telling you about. Check that camera out. That thing is sweet. If it was on, you would see how the gimbal works. But yeah, the camera is an updated version of uh, the old Xeno Pro for sure. Might have a wider angle. I don't know. I don't know. Gonna get it out there and see and I'll show you guys. Uh, so that's about it. Nothing much came. Nothing else in the box. Just some cardboard, uh, which is cool. I wanted to get it. I didn't really care about the bag. I got some bags I can put it in. I even saw a waterproof bag for like 30 bucks that would fit the Xeno Pro or Xeno 2 uh, very well. Oh, here's the power for it. I forgot about the power. The power supply is different than the Xeno Pro. Uh, it's heavier, it's bulkier, it feels like a power sh a supply should. This one here, look at the Xeno Pro. Check that out. Uh, this is a, uh, a balance charger here, the balance charger, and it's not much in there. It pretty much just plugs into the wall, I'm thinking. 
So let's do a little comparison. We don't need to spend all day here. It's August. We need to get outside before... Oh, it's September 2nd. That's right. September 2nd. Congratulations, people. We made it into a new month. Uh, you know, the, uh, the coronavirus in our area also went down this month, which was cool. It's, we still have it, which is good, but it wasn't as bad as the month before, so that's good. Uh, so, comparison. The Xeno 2 to the Xeno Pro. Let's get it out. Even though it's still broken, we can still get a, an idea. The camera's still off of it. We can get an idea of what they look like together. So, there's the Xeno Pro. And uh, how am I going to do this? Here's the Xeno 2 and here's the Xeno Pro. They almost feel about the same weight, but the, the Xeno 2 is a little heavier. Uh, even with the camera missing, I can tell it's a little heavier. It's a little smaller, but man, I sure want to get this one fixed. Uh, especially to put it in those more dangerous areas where I'm not so scared of... Uh, losing it because I have the other nice one that I'll fly in maybe the little less dangerous areas. Uh, but I want to get this fixed, especially for flying over water far distances. Uh, I want to definitely get this one up and running. So that's it. The, uh, the controller, I want to show you the controller compared to the Xeno 2. Look at this controller. The antennas, uh, I guess that's how they're supposed to go. They kind of overlap, but they stick up a little crooked. Oh, here we go. There's the antenna on this one. It's nice and even. This one's, you know, but I never had a problem with transmission other than it being my fault uh, flying behind a tree or behind the bridge, as you guys probably have seen that video by now. So yeah, that's about it. Excited to get this bad boy up in the air and uh, yeah, you guys, check it out. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get it outside and up in the air, and we'll do some uh, flying around the neighborhood. Joel Solo TV, part two, coming up next. Hey, everybody out there in YouTube land. This is Joel Solo TV. So I lied. It's not clear skies out. It's actually a little smoky today, but I uh, no more excuses. I got to get this Hudson Zeno up and in the air. So it's flying really steady, zero wind right now. What do you guys think about that? Pretty beautiful drone. Oh, it's drifting, drifted on me a little bit. One of the things I wanted to do first was to see if, uh... here we go, now we're switched to uh, video. Really clear. How's everybody doing out there? Hubson Zeno 2 looks great. Beautiful looking drone. We're gonna take it up and uh, try some of the uh, some of the options out. Oh, here we go. Understood. Okay, start active track. Here we go. Looks like it's doing it. She's following. Let's go. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I tell you what. I've always wanted a drone to follow me around. And now I've got one. Joel Solo TV upgrading. Where'd it go? Oh, she's still following me. All right. We'll go up here and we'll turn around. Kind of afraid to go too fast. Still tracking like a pro. Can't beat it.
still there doing about uh, seven eight miles an hour I'm gonna go ahead and turn around here still tracking let's see if it'll follow me this way she's tracking kind of acting a little funny but she's tracking is she tracking she's tracking me all right first time doing this active track so I'm a little nervous but it seems to be doing all right hovering right behind me give the big thumbs up there Uh-oh, looks like she stopped. Let's see what happened. Oh, she's looking for me. Let's go back. Okay, let's stop active track and see if we can pick it back up again. Okay. Let's go this way. I wonder if we have to go a little slower. I hear it behind me. Oh yeah, there she is. Too shabby on that one. Oh, she stopped right there again, huh? Well, I have to give it about a B plus on the active track, but I am trying to have it follow around a uh, moped at different levels, so that might actually have something to do with it.
but still pretty cool I'm happy about it down to 62% after all that flying 62% I'm down to about nine minutes of footage so I, I'm gonna bring her down right here and call it a day really happy with the uh, with the way it turned out today gonna go ahead and set her down for us that's in this video hey Joel solo TV out love you guys so I'm updating the firmware little different from the uh, Hubson Xeno Pro. Everything, I guess, you just use the phone. You don't have to plug it into the computer. Wow, very cool. Very easy to do. I wonder if that's telling me it's almost done. What did it say? Finished. Update complete. Finished. Okay, so I like that. Last time it was a bit of a pain to uh, update the firmware. Hubson really, they, they really did a bang up job here. You just hook up the phone to the controller and uh, hit upgrade and that's it. Last time, boy, you had to get the, uh, the upgrade tool. You had to unzip the file, find the file hook up the uh, the Xeno to the computer. I mean, it was a, it was quite a few steps. So if this is all you have to do now. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. So uh, another thumbs up for the uh, Hubson Xeno 2. Okay, guys. Joel Solo TV out. This is for Tom and Ploy. Best of wishes, guys. We're going to miss you, and hopefully we see you real soon. So we made it back with the Xeno 2. Couldn't be happier the way it was tracking me around on the scooter. That was cool. Uh, 4K. Going at, what is it, 60 frames a second? That was sweet. I can, I can absolutely tell the clarity already. Sorry, I'm a little excited here about the Xeno 2. And uh, soon we'll get it up higher, send it out a little further, and... Uh, Take it someplace a little nicer when the smoke clears out. But I just had to get it out for the first flight. Needed to pop that, you know, cherry. Get it out there. Make sure that the battery worked good. One bar for that whole video footage that I took out there. Totally amazing. So that's it for the Hubson Xeno 2. Joel Solo TV. Please subscribe. Hit the thumbs up, guys. Love you out there. Yeah, that's it. Peace out.